Footage has been released, showing Ukrainian troops entering the territory of Russia's Kursk region on August 6. Hundreds of Ukrainian fighters supported with dozens of armored combat vehicles and tanks broke through the defense line of the Russian army and advanced in the territory of Kursk region. Ukrainian troops have advanced up to 15 kilometers into Kursk, according to some reports. The operation in Kursk marked the largest scale attack on Russian territory since the start of war in February 2022. Russian troops are rapidly seizing more and more territory in Ukraine, taking advantage of cracks in Ukrainian defenses caused by a lack of forces and mistakes by military leadership. Russian President Vladimir Putin's main goal on the battlefield this year is to seize as much land as possible, senior Ukrainian officials told the Financial Times. Our defenses are cracking, one official said, warning that Russian forces had made tactical gains in the Donetsk region and that further offensives were likely unless the situation changed. Thus, according to an estimate by the Finnish military research group Blackbird Group, the area of territory captured by Russian troops since the beginning of May is almost twice that which the Ukrainian military recaptured during its summer offensive a year ago. According to their data, the Ukrainian armed forces liberated about 321 square kilometers between June the 1st and September the 1st, 2023, or an average of 24 square kilometers each week. At the same time, Russian troops captured about 592 square kilometers between May the 3rd and August the 2nd of this year, or more than 45 square kilometers each week. Over the past month, the Russians have managed to capture several key positions and terrain features, while the situation for the Ukrainians in these areas is steadily deteriorating. Analysts note, Analysts and soldiers say Russia has also taken advantage of Ukrainian miscommunication and poor rotation on the battlefield to make rapid advances in several cases, particularly around Pokrovsk and Turetsk. However, as the Financial Times notes, the recent improvement in Ukrainian firepower has not yet had an impact on the battlefield. Experts say that the main reason for Russia's continued progress is the acute shortage of men, especially infantry, in Ukraine. Moreover, Russia's strategy of expanding the front line in the Kharkiv region has further stretched Ukraine's forces and left them with fewer reserves to respond to Russian advances toward Pokrovsk, Chasov Yar and Turetsk, notes Rob Lee, a fellow in the Eurasia program at the Foreign Policy Research Institute. Experts expect the Russians to become more active in the Donetsk region this month and try to advance towards Konstantinovka, which will become the main target after the fall of Chasov Yar. As Franz Stefan Gedi, a research fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies think tank in London points out, Ukrainian commanders may have to reconsider the concept of active defense. At the same time, some officials are optimistic that Russia's advance will slow as its forces move closer to major cities where Ukrainian defenses are stronger.